Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial I have here for you the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus. This $100 IPX7 Bluetooth speaker weights about 2.5 pounds and it's loaded with two high frequency tweeters, two neodymium woofers, and two oversized passive radiators. The speaker delivered 30 watts of pure power with the battery life of up to 12 hours. Now, join me as we turn down the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus. Out of the box, we have a 25 inch aux cable and a USB C charging cable. Next, we have a few documentation to go along with the speaker. And here we have the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus Bluetooth speaker. The front of the speaker is completely covered in this nice metal grill with a subtle Anchor Soundcore logo on the center. As you can see, the passive radiator, woofers, and tweeters are clearly visible through the front grill, which nicely showcases the driver the speaker is pushing. The whole speaker has a nice rubber matte finish with texturized top buttons. This rubberized finish makes the speaker easy to grip and carry around, as well as providing the speaker with protections. On the right side of the speaker, we have the power button, and right beneath this cover, we have the USB-C charge port and aux port. Toward the back of the speaker, we also have the opening for the rear built-in passive radiators. One thing to notice about the design of the speaker is that it's designed to position upward at a 15 degree angle which helps enhance sound dispersion. Now let's get into the teardown. To get into the speaker, first off we will gently pry it our way around the metal grill to get it off. And here we have the grill. As you can see within the black plastic support, it has all the clean cutouts for the woofers, tweeters, and passive radiator. With a quick glance at the speaker here, you can see the nice glossy finish on the woofer and the aluminum passive radiator that has the Soundcore logo. And we also have these two tweeters that kind of blend in into each corner. Now to open up the speaker, we will need to remove 10 screws. Once all the screws are removed, we can gently remove the whole front half of the speaker. Once open, we will detach the speaker and battery cables from the motherboard before removing the front half. This front half contains one of the passive radiators, two woofer, two tweeters, and the battery pack. Next, we will remove the speaker woofer by taking off four screws, off from each woofer. We also have the tweeters that are held on by three screws. Unfortunately, the cable for the tweeters are glued onto the enclosure to provide watertight seal, so we won't be taking off the tweeters. However, these tweeters measure 30mm and can produce a frequency as high as 40kHz. Now let's remove the second woofer. This woofer measures 57mm and pushes a total power of 30 watts. And this woofer can produce a frequency as low as 50Hz. Next, we will remove these four screws to remove the battery pack.
This is a 7.42 volt battery pack with a total capacity of 3350 mAh. It takes around 3 to 4 hours to fully charge and it can get you a total play time of up to 12 hours on a full charge. Within the app, there's also a power saving feature where you can set the speaker to automatically shut off after 5, 10, 30, or 60 minutes without audio. Doing this will help you achieve a longer battery life on the speaker. This is all we have on the front piece of the speaker. Next, we will take out the motherboard by removing these six screws. Before taking out the motherboard, we will detach the microphone and also use a blade to carefully cut this black setup cone to release the motherboard. And here we have the motherboard which has the antenna solder onto it. This motherboard has Bluetooth 5.0 and allow you to pair two Motion Plus together to give you a stereo sound. This board contains Qualcomm APTX technology which help preserve sound quality when streaming via Bluetooth. It has base up technology to help enrich and intensify the low frequency and road time. It also uses advanced DSP and amplifier with individual power sources to help preserve the accuracy of highs, mids, and low. Here we have the body of the enclosure. It looks solid and durable and feels like it can easily withstand accidental drops and everyday usage. As you can see, we have the antenna and microphone still attached to it. If you look toward the middle, you can see the secondary passive radiator glue facing the back of the speaker. Together with the front passive radiator, the speaker is able to provide the user with the low frequency in whichever direction you are facing the speaker. And this completes the teardown of the Anchor Soundcore Motion Plus. I will be having many more teardowns to come, so if you enjoy these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next teardown.